All right, welcome to this edition of, uh, you know, what, what I do on my other time. This is Dave from NTD Racing, and uh, I love projects. I'm usually building the truck, but today we are gonna start on a ride for this dude right here, the coolest bro in the garage, my little boy, Matthew, and he's already yeah. getting to work. Let me, let me show you uh, what we're doing on this project. This is pretty cool. So we're gonna be um, building my own car. It'll be electric. We're Right now we're taking off the stuff so we can paint it. Because like who doesn't want a painted car? And then we will after we take all the bolts out and that's on doing right now. So you know we're just gonna be doing this for a little while. So Ours. And just so you know, my dad's walking around. <laughs> so this thing is really trick. So what we got here is uh, somebody put on Facebook Marketplace, they had a free four-wheeler that didn't work. We were able to actually put a string in here and kick the thing over. And as long as I was pouring starter fluid into the intake down here, it was running. But what we wanted to try to do, and something I haven't done before, is an electric. So I have a 48 volt, 1000 watt motor uh, with the same chain size. And then I've also got a 48 volt, 1000 watt battery pack, which is just, it looks to me to be absurd. I have no idea how much power it's gonna have, but I got a feeling that this thing is gonna rip. So our plan is right now, Matthew and I are working together. We're gonna take it all apart. Um, repaint ben, can you help me? i will in one second buddy we're going to repaint all the parts put it back together modify it to take the electric motor and then we're going to start ripping around the uh, the neighborhood and tearing it up so here we go we're going to get to it so here's the deal on this project most of the stuff that he could do i let him do and in fact if there was a time he wanted to go play with his friends or do something else we stopped the project and then when he came back, we started working on it again. But there are obviously things that, you know, six-year-olds or little kids just can't do. They're too dangerous or whatever. They might cut themselves. And then that's me doing them or just they can't break a nut uh, loose or something like that. And I do those things. But this, the real goal of this was to give him not only the skills to use the tools, but then also just that confidence and that sense, that satisfaction you get from building your own thing. And so I let him do most of the work himself and, uh, and he got into it and I was really proud of him. All right, getting all the big chunks off so we can shoot some spray paint on it. My boy's doing a good job over here. Spray paint on. That's a good grinding stance right there. All right, good job, bud. So we're just going to spray paint right now the seat. We're spray painting it gray. You only need, like, you got to have it off and then come back on. And you also have to stand from a distance. Yeah. All right. My friend's helping. Do you want to go thick or thin? Thin. Thin, right. Okay, now let's sit. It is always fun to start taking clean painted parts and putting them back together. He really, like you could see it in his face. He was just so happy that the thing was looking really good. And he picked all the colors. Like I had extra spray paint cans, so nothing, we didn't have to go buy any new cans or anything. These are spray paint cans we had around the, uh, the garage. But he picked the colors and I think it looks just awesome. And then he put it all together. And, uh, and he's just really, I think, enjoying the project. Man, looks good. Huh, looks a little loose. All right, here, <laughs> here is the ATV so far. And uh, man, Matthew did an awesome job painting this oh, thing. Hey, Don't, no, oh, <laughs> keep it clean. And, and Matthew did a really great job painting this thing. And it looks good. And we right now we got the motor in the location that we wanted. I'm gonna have to go ahead and cut a bracket. I'm gonna do a little cheating. You can do this by hand, 
but I'm gonna go ahead and do that on a plasma table. Let me show you how I do that. But first, let's go look at the electric parts that we got over here. I'm gonna show you, I'll put. I'll show you how I got these on eBay. And I may have gone a little bit too big. I, I, this is my first time doing an electric motor mod like this. This is a 48 volt, 1000 watt battery pack. I think it's a little, way too much power, but uh, it'll probably give them a long ride time. Uh, probably pretty fast too, but I'll see if I can't keep it toned down as far as the top speed goes. Uh, this battery pack came with the charger, so I like that. And then I matched up with another 48 volt, 1000 watt motor and controller. So that's what the motor is. And it also came with the controller. It came with the grips and also the throttle grip. Um, and what I wanted to show you was the wires that I used. So the yellow and blue wires, and I pulled this off the internet watching somebody else do it. Yellow and blue wires go to the motor. You can reverse those if you want the motor to turn the opposite direction. The, uh, it had the red and black wires, which go, <laughs> it goes to the motor. <laughs> it goes, I know I'm not the smartest cat in the world. That goes to the battery, and man, it's a lot of juice. Uh, here is a red and blue wire, <laughs> which, um, and these are going to be totally covered, insulated right now. We're just kind of in test mode. I should get this thing apart. The yellow and blue wire is your on off switch. So when it's closed, it's on. When it's open, it is off. And then uh, on this particular controller, there was a another switch with a yellow and a black and i've heard them also said that it should be green and black but in this case it was yellow and a black this is going to go to the safety switch on the uh the brakes the uh and then, but besides that after that's pretty obvious there you got the three wires for the uh, the throttle hookup and there's a couple more wires if you want to charge uh right there and then also which we're going to just use the charger that came off the side of the battery for our charging <laughs> and then also a brake light uh battery <laughs> so so there you go. Let's go ahead and get over the, to the computer and the plasma table and cut out the plate to mount the motor. Well, if this is your first time with this channel, I probably about 80% of my videos have me using the Langmire Systems Crossfire Pro Plasma CNC table to build stuff. And just for reference, I got this entire system totally assembled in my garage for about four thousand dollars i just don't think you can beat it it's a really great system check out my other videos if you want to see how i put this thing together and put it to use to build an off-road race truck now i find that i get a lot of comments for my videos where guys are saying dude i need exactly that tool where do i find it um, and a lot of times in most of my videos i put the links in the comments but we have made on our ntdracing.com website which i'll put a link for here um, we have made a store where you can find all the tools that I use to make the things for the race truck or just anything else I show on my videos. Almost, bud. Oh man, what a fun project this thing is. Let me just give you a quick walk around to show you where we're at as of the end of this uh, video, what we've done. So uh, I built with the plasma table again, I built this bracket and bent it with the swag off-road um, press brake and got this piece uh, made to hold the battery. I had this, had this strap sitting around, I put it on there. I don't think it's the cleanest design, but right now that's where we're putting that. We might be moving that battery here in a little bit. I'll explain in a second. The motor went in there nicely. The chain's a little bit loud, but uh, it's holding on and it isn't slipping or anything like that. So that, I think it's working pretty good. Everything else is working good. This brake right here, we had to replace with the old brake 
uh, on there because you needed a brake that had a switch because when you pull the brake, the brake turns the motor off, um, which is a nice feature to have with electric motors. But this one is not a spring return. So I've ordered another brake on there that actually has a spring return. Um, otherwise, it kind of just kind of dangles in there. I don't think it's very clean and that just uh, wears on my, my brain there. So I'm gonna replace that. Besides that, like I said, my little boy did all the painting on this. And I think he did a pretty good job for a six-year-old and I was really, uh, really proud of him. And he is pretty proud of it also. Also, we got some of the wire, just kind of wires just bundled up inside here. And uh, we may clean that up in the future. I was talking to my buddy, we were showing, showing him the whole setup and he's like, man, with as much torque as this thing has, and it kind of tries to throw you off the back a little bit, we're thinking about maybe extending the rear trailing arm and then maybe I'll move this motor back over here, right in front of that sprocket and then put the battery underneath there. I think it would clean the design up a whole bunch. It would get that chain you know, maybe catching fingers in the chain or something like that, it would get that out of the equation. So I might go ahead and swap that around. Besides that though, I think it is uh, pretty awesome. This is really cool. His first time driving it with power, but it's also his first time using a hand throttle, which obviously is a little tricky for people who have ridden motorcycles learning how to do that. But this thing had a ton of power. And uh, so he's a little bit cautious on it at first, but he gets going and uh, I think he has a great time. And after he's done, the parents have got to get on it to make sure that it's safe, of course. Well, if you're new to the channel, what I normally do is I'm working on an off-road truck. And here's what I got going in the next episode is we're going to be rebuilding this A-arm. We kind of crashed the truck. And as you can see, uh, here's the line that this thing used to be lined up with and it is totally bent. So I'll be rebuilding the entire A-arm to replace that. And I cut all of these pieces out. This is These pieces are what makes this thing. And I cut these out on the Langmire Systems Crossfire Pro CNC plasma table over there. And I use that for just about every episode. I'm building something with that plasma table or, you know, with Bentec and an angle grinder to make parts. And so the next episode will be me welding this thing uh, together and trying to get that truck back into running order so we can go take it and test it uh, out in the desert. Well, this project was a total blast. And this thing is so much fun to ride because it is just so fast. It may be just a little bit too fast for a six-year-old. So I'll work on dialing the speed back with maybe some gearing and getting into the electronics of this thing to work on that. But just the fact that I was able to get him out in the garage and break him free of videos and those kinds of things, which is always the goal, and I think most parents can relate to that, is how do I make the things that I want him to do more interesting than watching video games playing video games, watching videos, and those kinds of things. I want his buddies to be in the garage, wrenching with him, and learning some real skills. In the future, I would much rather buy him a car that he can wrench on and he can learn how to do all the things that maybe I've learned how to do than buy him a video game where he's sitting in the house uh, and not learning any real skills. So for those of you that are new to my channel, this here is Honcho. It's the truck that I built for about $20,000 and raced in the Baja 1000. In the next couple of videos, I'll be going through how I fixed the stuff that we broke in the race. We'll retest the, uh, the truck and get it ready for the next Baja 1000. I have a whole library of videos where I reuse some really cool stuff. Just about every subsystem in this truck I've made a video of, of me building the, the steering, the suspension. I use the Crossfire Langmar Systems Crossfire Pro CNC Plasma Table. I use Bentec and a couple angle grinders to make the entire custom chassis on this truck. I use a 3D printer here and there and a lot of other cool tools and budget parts that you might find useful in your own build or maybe for things that you're making in your garage. With that, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and maybe ring the bell so you get notification of future episodes and I can't wait to see you then. See you in the next episode. Take care of yourself.